Uh, hello everyone and uh, welcome so in this video I'm going to show you one of the for me the, the coolest way to read and write into Excel documents and it is believe it or not by using ADO components so if you ever used ADO components to uh, communicate to some database now you can uh, use it uh, to read and write into Excel documents so I have here a uh, data XLS uh, that is uh, Excel document and it has three rows as you can see uh, first one describes uh, uh, the columns uh, book name author and year and those are the two books okay so let me run the application and as you can see uh, tables uh, these are pre uh, practically worksheets a list one two and three so uh, let's see list one two and three so these are the list uh, lists available uh, he recognizes them as tables but never mind okay so I'm going to say I'm reading from a list one read data and as you can see he read uh, book name okay the passage country and author and year so pretty much he uh, read what was inside this uh, Excel document and uh, watch this when I uh, add another uh, and add another uh, line he automatically added this inside Excel document okay so I can change it into something else okay add another record or line going to another column and that's <laughs> that's pretty much it it's really simple and uh, really easy how to do it uh, well uh, let's see the CPP file uh, so this is the uh, code required to do it uh, first of all you need to specify the connection to a Microsoft uh, Excel document uh, you are you will be using this provider uh, although if you are using a 64-bit version of your application you'll probably not be able to use this uh, jet provider you would use ace or something like that so it's that's not really the problem but uh, under the source you need to specify uh, data uh, meaning your excel document uh, extended properties equals excel okay excel some version uh, this is Excel 8.0 for dot uh, XLS. Uh, I believe uh, the nine is uh, the nine or later is for uh, XLS X or something. Uh, it's really not a problem to check it out. And uh, once you uh, specified the connection, meaning the connection string, you simply uh, apply it to uh, either connection component and using this string list you get uh, table names meaning the uh, worksheet names and uh, you add those names into a combo box so uh, these are uh, this is the combo box where the worksheet names will be placed and once I click this button I simply execute your SQL query and that is select from uh, worksheet list one two or three uh, simply select all data okay so I could have specified select only some row or something like that and uh, once I hit uh, this uh, ADO query one open it physically connected uh, to this document and uh, when interacting with this uh, DB grid I was automatically actually uh, writing inside this Excel document so as you can see I will uh, show the code again it's really easy and simple and uh, uh, for people that don't have uh, requirements like uh, uh, want to change the color of uh, cells or something like that you can really use this approach since uh, like I said it's really really easy and simple and uh, for me pretty cool okay guys thanks for watching and see you soon